Miss Rand, in your novels, you portray very strong women. I was wondering why you think uh, in the world we don't have strong women leaders. Because if you're speaking about women's liberation, that whole movement, uh, it's a very false and phony issue. Women are human beings, so they need uh, leaders just like men in certain professions. If they, in their own profession, they don't need leaders. But let's say in politics, they need leaders who are men or women as the leaders have earned. There is no such thing as specifically a leader of women. But Just as it would be ridiculous to say uh, you have leaders of only men. Well, but the point is that women feel because of the uh, cultural inhibitors that have been that have been placed on women, some sort of women woman leadership is needed to compensate and to break those barriers and to make good all the re all the grievances of the past. You can do it only by education. If women feel that there is prejudice against them, yes. you do it by spreading the right idea that women intellectually are not the inferior of men. Of course not. But Physically, you, they certainly that's are. That's what feminists are doing. They're standing up and educating. No. They, they're asking for government power and government handout. They go around depriving men of jobs because you have to have quota of so many women. But their point is that they have been denied jobs all these years. So you, let's get at it and start swinging for it. You do not fight an evil if they think they're victims. I don't. But uh, let us say, assuming that women have been treated unfairly, you don't fight an evil by adopting it and practicing well, it. Well, what should they do? Be nice little girls and not say anything and stay home and break bread? No. Uh, well, what should they do? Should Go they? into any career of their choice except longshoremen, or professional football player, as they're trying today, and fight for their career as every man has to fight. Would you fight for anything? How did I get here? <laughs> I'm disappointed, though, that here we have all these, all this, uh, you don't deny that there have been grievances. You don't deny sexism. You don't deny prejudice against women. I deny all that except unequal wages. There have been You're telling me you think jobs. women have had the same opportunities, that they haven't been given blinders by a culture that said they should be a nurse instead of a doctor? No. That they should be uh, long-suffering and nurturing instead of a composer? Not in this country. If you're talking about Europe, it might be different. Here, okay. you can get anything regard, regardless of your sex because you, all you have to do is show your ability. And if someone is prejudiced and doesn't hire you, the intelligent employer will. Miss Rand, you are a woman and we have been downtrodden. Do you approve of ERA? And if so, why? And we are downtrodden? Yes. I just read the questions. Please. <laughs> no, I don't approve the, uh, the ERA because it's a totally unnecessary, uh, repetitive uh, document which will achieve nothing but give a lot of bad female politicians a, a tool to work with and impose on the rest of us. As far as the feminist movement is concerned, I am a male chauvinist. Proudly.